Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you a quick love and romance snapshot, a quick look at love and romance for the month of July 2023 for the Earth signs, which means that if your Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign is in Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or you're cross watching for an Earth sign, this video is for you. Don't forget to watch the July uh, 2023 general readings for each individual sign as well that are out on my YouTube channel. Now, if you find that something here resonates with you and you'd like to take a deeper look at something or you simply like the reading style and you would be interested in a personal reading for yourself or as a gift for someone else, please feel free to email me directly at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. You can also find that email address by clicking on the description link or the title of this video. I would love to hear from you and I can usually get back to you the same day with more information. I do offer quite a wide variety of reading services, not just in love and romance, but in all areas of life as well and uh, scheduling of personal readings is done in a pretty timely fashion too as I do this full time it's all that I do so if you're interested please email me all right let's jump right into this really quick snapshot this quick look at love and romance for the earth signs starting with Taurus the bull love and romance July 2023 for Taurus and I am using the radiant rider weight deck well, off with a bang, the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Fire. So Knights represent offers and opportunities for change. And the Knight of Wands is on fire. This is somebody who would probably make it very clear that they are very into you and uh, pursue you quite blatantly um, in the beginning. Or it could be you towards someone else. Definitely offers and opportunities abounding there. Oh, and the Knight of Cups, my goodness the knight of cups the knight of water or emotion charging forward again quite blatantly wearing their heart on their sleeves both of these offers and opportunities whether it's somebody that's coming towards you Taurus or you're towards somebody else um, neither of these knights uh, are very good at dissembling meaning their intent is pretty clear right from the very beginning so for those of you who are in a love and romance relationship I mean everything's pretty good here there's um uh, emotion here love here passion and chemistry it may be that there's uh, <coughs> offers and opportunities for both of you within an already established relationship to go and do something maybe go on vacation go have fun go out on dates uh, go on a trip do a little bit of traveling together both of these I mean this is all in motion and action here so you may be traveling together kind of reconnecting and rekindling that spark through some new uh, trip or new information or new activity or new hobby of some kind for those of you who are <coughs> single and looking I mean <laughs> I'm not even sure what to say for those of you who are single and looking. It's it's out there. Uh, for those of you who have your eye on someone, make the move. For those of you, uh, again, who are just putting themselves out there, there is plenty uh, offers and opportunities coming in. They may be, you know, water, sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, maybe uh, fire, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Uh, but uh, there's lots of activity and potential should you choose to take it. All right. Excellent. Let's move on to Virgo. Love and Romance snapshot for Virgo for the month of July 2023. Virgo. Well, the Earth signs just have it going on so far. We have the Nine of Cups, a wish granted wish fulfillment, getting everything you want and more. Actually, your cups overflowing with abundance and justice the reap what you sow card reaping what you sow means that the outcome of something is dependent on what you actually do and choose and take action on not what you think about or wish for but what you actually do what you actually manifest so minimum investment minimum return maximum investment maximum return even if it takes a little while and justice in the upright represents things going in your favor being fair equitable even it may be too that after some time of something not being fair or just or out of balance 
that um, spirit is coming in and saying, we're giving you everything that you want here because this is what's owed you. This is what's fair. So in terms of those of you who are in an already connected relationship and already established decent, healthy relationships, we're not talking about really unhealthy relationships here, um, an established healthy relationships. Um, I mean, it could be if the two of you have had some disagreements with each other or have been at odds with each other. Um, something is coming in to kind of balance that out. It may be that as a couple, you, you guys have been through perhaps some very challenging things where something was out of balance, something was broken or something wasn't fair, something was out of balance. And finally here, you're getting your wish fulfillment. I mean, any way you look at it, Virgo, this is absolutely beautiful energy uh, for a couple together. You're getting everything that you want. For those of you that are single, um, but for so those of you that are single and looking, some of you, this is advice that, you know, what you want here, the kind of relationship you want, the kind of person you want is dependent on the energy that you put into looking at it, the energy and the wisdom that you put into looking. Um, <coughs> You, c you can open yourself up to love and romance and be smart about how you do it too. Like if you want someone that, for example, shares the same, you know, the same belief systems, the same ideologies, uh, the same goals, the same hobbies or interests, then, you know, a practical way of looking at it would be to um, go with people, places, situations, involve yourself in areas or organizations or social events that um, you have those things in common with because that, of course, is going to increase your potential of meeting someone um, who is a like-minded person or kindred spirits. Um, if you want somebody who shares the same passion, hobbies, and interests you do, then a likely place to meet other kindred spirits and potentially love partners would be in groups or classes or organizations or social events or, or things um, where people who are kind of all interested in those same things gather together. Um, that's one aspect of judgment and the nine, nine of, of cups because getting what you want, getting everything that you want is dependent on the energy that you put into it and how you go about doing it too. So, um, but again, for those of you who are single and looking, some of you, it, you're finding it this month, it, that, that love and romance, that perfect partner is coming in. It's time for that to happen. And for those of you who haven't, um, put the effort into and be smart about it too. All right, let's take a look at Capricorn, love and romance for Capricorn, love and romance snapshot for Capricorn, month of July 2023. The star, renewed, restored hope, faith, and optimism. One of the wish fulfillment cards, you know, wish upon a star and it will be granted. Sometimes you have to wait a minute or two. It does take some hope and faith here. And in the tarot, the star comes after the tower. So for those of you who have gone through any particularly difficult or challenging or painful times, this is a card of coming, uh, of coming through it and getting on the other side of it. Renewed, restored hope, faith, and optimism. This is a card of rebuilding and renewing. So for those of you who are in a currently established relationship, Again, if you've been through some difficulties, some issues, this is renewal. This is reconciliation. This is putting the work in and seeing that paying off. Things are getting better here. Um, for those of you who are single and looking, again, have hope, have faith. It's coming. Don't give up. And with the star, we have the eight of swords. So, you know, swords... The suit of swords is governed by the element of air, and the element of air governs our intellectual landscape. Everything that goes on up in our heads, our belief systems, our ideas, our ideologies, how we look at things, how, what our perspectives are, because that affects how we relate and, and how we define our own reality. So this person, the Eight of Swords is a card that represents feeling trapped, feeling held hostage, feeling like you can't affect any positive changes in your life because of what's surrounding you, these swords. So it could be an overall ideology or a set of ideas. I'm too old. I'm too young. I'm too fat. I'm too thin. I'm too outspoken. I'm too shy. I'm too whatever, right? Um, but actually, this person could free themselves from the swords if they wanted to. There are gaps. I'm not saying it would be easy, but she could easily just 
you know, shrug the blindfold off, twist out of those bonds and find that she could free herself. The only thing that's keeping her there, the, this, this is a card of, of being held hostage by your own self, your mental limitations, your own self, self-imposed limitations. Um, so it's a card that says you're not held back. You can affect changes. The only thing that's keeping you stuck is what's in your head. It's time to overcome those messages and go, look, I don't have to do this. I can, I can do whatever it is that I want to. In terms of love and romance, again, for those of you who are coupled, um, for those of you who are coupled, there, there is some implication here even for those of you who are single with the star and with the eight of swords, that perhaps something happened to you in the past, perhaps you've had some difficult or negative or just downright painful or traumatic experiences in love and romance. And that may be the thing that's holding you back. Maybe you had um, people who weren't good to you or people who gave you bad messages or people who said, well, you'll never because of this and you'll never because of that. And so those messages went into your head and kind of got stuck in there, right? Perhaps you've been through some things that you know, were traumatic, were painful, and they've left these messages that you can't find love and romance because of this or because of that or because of, you know, fill in the blanks, whatever, whatever that's in there, but you can. Don't, whether you're single or whether you're partnered with someone, don't let fear of the past repeating itself keep you stuck and keep you from moving forward. Um, and finding the right mate for you, putting yourself out there, you know, going out, connecting with people. For those of you who are in a relationship and you, f you feel or you have felt like um, things can't get better um, because of this, that, the other thing, they can and they will. And for many of you, they are because the star came first, right, with the eight of swords. So just don't feel like, you know, don't feel like what you want can't come true, like your wishes can't come true, that it won't happen for you, because that's just self, those are negative messages in your head, either from yourself or imposed by someone or something else from before. Don't allow that to keep, keep going, uh, to keep you stuck. Remember that the star comes after the tower, after that big shakeup, after that, whatever it was that happened, the star comes out to renew, restore hope, faith, and optimism, and to rebuild. So whether you're partnered or whether you're single, it's it's a beautiful energy. Just remember, when you when you start getting that, that stinking thinking, they say in your head, um, get up and do something, you know, and self-talk yourself out of it. It's not true. That was then. This is now. It's not the same thing beautiful energy. All right, I'm going to leave it there. That is your love and romance snapshots for the air sign Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, if this resonates with you and you'd like to take a deeper look, or if you simply like the reading style and you'd be interested in a personal reading for yourself or as a gift for someone else or information about that, please feel free. Email me at Maggie, the number one, McGuire at gmail.com. You can see that email address also by clicking the description link or the title of this video. I will see you all in a couple of weeks for the July general mid-month readings. Don't forget to check out the July 2023 first half of the month general readings for each of the individual signs on my YouTube channel as well. I hope to see you back here again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.